Okay, so I'm just going to quickly explain what you need to do for the Psychological Development Workbook. Um, this is your task for this week. Um, it's not that hard. Essentially, you're just covering the topics that we've already discussed. So it's got a whole bunch of different activities. With this one here, you need to read the scenarios and ex pretty much answer the questions. And this one's about nature versus nurture. So not too hard on that one. You write your answer in there. If it gets, you know, you find that you need more space, don't increase the size of the box. Just um, decrease the size of the font. So there's three scenarios for this one. Um, and you need to work out, is it nature or is it nurture? Um, and the questions are in there. So there's the third scenario. Nice and easy. All right. So next one is an evaluation of research and you will need to learn how to do this so this actually gives you an opportunity to do different types of um, evaluations of research there are SACs that are very similar to this so giving you a chance to practice them so read this one it's about sensitive periods and if you've done the logbook which you should have then um, you just go through and related so you need to work out the independent and dependent variable uh, the experimental and control group remember the independent variable is what you change the dependent variable is what you measure um, the experimental group is what the independent group actually is and whether or not it's been exposed and then the control group is uh, what you sort of you don't change or you don't add any independent variable to all right, experimental research design. So is it independent groups? Is it matched pairs? Or is it um, repeated measures? So which one is it? Read the article to find out. What is the main purpose of using this design for this particular experiment? So why did they actually use that one? Uh, next question, sensitive period. You should know that already. Um, and then you'll have to do some research on this one. So which part of the brain are each of the scanned areas located? So where is the auditory cortex? Where is the motor cortex? Where is the cerebellum? And then which one, oh, which of these would actually be a component in the, in the musical abilities? And how would they be used? Uh, limitations of the research design. Two improvements, so how could they improve the research? And then just move on from there. So sensitive period for learning during early childhood. Um, do, should we actually start it early? All right, so the next one is a media response, right? So you need to look at that particular cartoon. Name and describe the behavior being exhibited by the ducklings. Um, you'll need to have a look at it's in the sensitive and critical periods PowerPoint, so you will need to go back a little and do a little bit more research on this one. I'll give you a hint, think imprinting. So find out who the zoologist is, it is in the PowerPoint. Um, assuming the ducklings have recently hatched, why did they follow the boy? Um, also in the PowerPoint. Assume the ducklings are of the mallard species. How, mu how old must they be in order for this behaviour to occur? So you'll need to do some research on that one, especially because mallard species is not necessarily in the textbook. And how long will the ducklings follow the boy? You'll need to research that one as well. So this one's a nice simple activity. Look at the um, activities, or at least the boxes here. And number them in the order that the strain situation test occurs. It's not in order at the moment. You'll need to put them in order. All right, the next one. Complete the following table based on results of Ainsworth research using the strain situation procedure. So behavior observed during the strain situation procedure. What behaviors were shown if they had a secure attachment? What behaviours were shown if they had an insecure avoidant attachment and what behaviours were shown during insecure resistant? And then the percentage. I do believe it is in the PowerPoint about attachment, so you may want to have a look at that as well. Um, 
influences on attachment. So how does genetics, temperament and early life experiences actually affect um, attachment? And then Harlow's experiments on monkeys. So most of you should know this from um, the logbook. You need to go through the aim, the participants, group one, group two, um, independent and dependent variable results, conclusion and generalization. The textbook has a great deal of information about this and so does any kind of research in it as well. All right, the development of cognitive de um, abilities. What you need to do is just, it says tick, but you can just shade it. Um, so that indicate the stages of Piaget's theory of cognitive development to which each statement relates. So it says here, most young adolescents entering secondary school at 12 or so years of age are in this stage. So what you would actually go, all right, you might pick that one, you might pick that one. You might pick that one, you might pick that one. All you need to do is um, shade it. So you might go like that and that's fine. All right, so you just read the statements and then you go from there. And then last one here, actually it's two last ones. Um, Erickson is just a matching exercise. So early infancy of Erickson's theory, I'll give you a hint. It's this one here. So what you do is you just put in D, right? So you just have to write the letters, nice and easy. And then this one here, you look at the pictures and take a guess as to what um, the full name and age range of the stage is in that particular one. So you just do it in the blue boxes underneath. Then you have, no, nope, that's it. All right, so. Give it a go. If you have any questions, ask me on Teams and ask me on um, via email. Please do the work. It's due in on Friday.